Welcome back to the channel and to the new Park Who Disc contest. Each and every submission gets its own spotlight and today we are looking at Tempest Bay by Hey Hey Tay. Today I'm joined by Furana. Furana is one of the most well-known names in the Planet Coaster community, having modded and hosted for Channel 5 Gaming, featured on Wix Gaming, as well as being the creator of everyone's favourite TMTK dirt decals. Hello Fua. Hoi. Hello. Hoi. <laughs> How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm wonderful, having a great day with you as always. So, Tay says, I was given the pirate theme. My pirate park is more of a small port slash town with a small area of badlands ran by Captain Jacks. I didn't want the pirate theme to be too kiddy or playful, so I hope that came across and looks piratey enough. Since this was a re-theme park, I wanted to keep elements of the original Radha Valley, i.e. the entrance, the historic swan, and the shell of the dark ride. In my mind, if a park is undergoing a re-theme of a whole park, they would try to keep as much of it the same as possible and add things around already existing buildings. And besides, it's always a fun thing for me to do when I visit a re-themed park or area of the park to find what was part of the old park and how they incorporated it into the new one. I feel like that is where my building style came from for this park. Well, I completely agree, and I think that's a, a great way of looking at the re-theme, and I cannot wait to get into it. So, starting with Peace Count, which is 27,782. So that's, uh, that's great. Just nice. over half. This is Park Variation Echo, which means we've got the Cascade, the Go-Karts, the 360 Power, and the Insanity, giving us the Pirate Theme. Lastly, we have at least one coaster. We have a Dark Ride in the original position. And the Swan is still down here, now called the Lighthouse. And here we are down on the ground in Tempest Bay. And we've got our entrance here, maintaining the shape from before, but with a lovely uh, redecoration on the front. Kind of like it. Yeah. It's like a very modern, mm. of course it was already modern, but I mean... Yeah, like a modern adaptation of the pirate theme. Yes. <laughs> Tickets. Wow, it's a it's a pricey theme park. Woo. And here we go, through the palms, into the entrance plaza. I love this decal on the floor. Yeah. Okay, compass. Me too. Is that what it'd be called? Uh, like... Yeah, I was thinking about it. Uh, I only know the Dutch word for it, and it's wit, wind, windroos, windrichtingen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds fancy. Mm. <laughs> mm, yeah, we have a very fancy language. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I like that. That's yeah. the Welsh. Um, the Welsh pirate. dragon in the middle. <laughs> Fantastic. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, sort of like a modern vibe still going on with mm. the pirates. Yeah. Oh, and there are the strollers. Oh, there we go. Should we go really around in those for relaxing? <laughs> Hop in. Yeah, <laughs> you can push me around. I'll push you around the park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which brings us to our cascade with some lovely seating out front. And that looks like our exit, so we'll head around the other side. Is this it? I think so. Yeah. Lovely long. Confusing, but <laughs> cattle pen here. <laughs> yeah. Into the station. Here we are. Oh, this is nice. All right. Yeah, Ooh, I that, like this. Uh, is that upper level part of the track? Hmm. Yeah, I think it is. Ah. That's a great interaction in the station. I like that. Yes. Nice. Okay. Well, without further ado, it's time for the cascade.
That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. That was uh, shipwrecked. And uh, yeah, I thought that was a brilliant layout. You got multiple lift hills. And I, this was so immersive down here in this little town. The uh, yeah. facades. I love this bridge. And uh, yes. as we mentioned before, <laughs> going back through the station. Yeah. Lovely use of your wonderful dirt decals, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot of dirt on the walls. Yeah, wouldn't be complete nice. without them. Moving on, we've got our food court. This is a beautiful facade, isn't it? I like that you use different colors. Yeah, the different colors and the different... Um, <laughs> how do you say this? Like, this bit sticks out, this bit's, um, like, indented. I can't do words today. <laughs> I am also bad with words, so I, that's I, promising. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> but this is beautiful. I like that. It looks really welcoming in here. It is really cozy. With the beams and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Great job. I would say this... <laughs> cozy song as well. Is, this is probably one of the best interiors I've seen so far, and I've recorded yes. over 20 spotlights so far, so... It feels very cool. homey for some reason. It does. I don't know what it is. Is it the paintings or the yeah. walls? I don't know. Yeah. No, you're completely right. Just decorating the tables, just a simple simple addition, but works really well. I want to get a burger now. <laughs> yeah, we can just chill or out something. here for it. Just uh, yeah. get some food and drink. And this uh, theming follows all the way down here. All these little individual houses. Yeah, that's really lovely. Got a hat's fantastic there with a donkey outside. Ah, cool. <laughs> Got a whirly rig, completely covered with uh, <laughs> safety netting, but that creates a really nice effect with the shadows on there. It does. That's great. Utilizes both the natural path and then going into the queue path. I like that little natural plaza mm -hmm. to share for the entrance and the exit before you get into the queue. This is nice. Little play area. I like this as well. Yeah. Many places just to just sit and chill. And it seems like mm -hmm. a very family friendly theme park. Yeah. I was about to say this this is a, a ride that kids would love and yeah. It's good to have a little play section next to it and a chill section with some mm. uh, benches that the parents can watch their kids or yes, something. Yes, exactly. I don't know. <laughs> okay, over here we've got our 360 power. Skinning the uh, the ride itself with the, the castle pieces as well. And behind us we have Escape the Kraken. Now, <laughs> um, as you may have seen from the update videos, uh, Hey Hey Tay <laughs> had quite um, an ordeal with this dark ride. She she insisted on completely reusing the original um, dark ride show building um, and <laughs> didn't like being stuck underground for so long. But from what <laughs> I saw, um, this dark ride was looking fantastic so I can't wait to see the finished ride and the the skin itself on the exterior is looking brilliant yeah like a pirate fort yeah it looks like some stuff I've seen in in Spain you know mm. those those forts that are a bit like uh, yeah like this let's switch to nighttime and head on in and to here here I will I shall <laughs> I am here we are <laughs> another shooting route Oh god, here we go again. Wish me luck. Yeah, oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen me do this before and it didn't go well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was that was really difficult though. It Let's was. hope this one is better to do. Yes, I hope so. Okay, here we go. Time for a shooting ride.
I did pretty terribly there as well. So I don't think uh, shooting rides are not for me. It looked quite difficult, to be honest. It was. <clears throat> uh, but it looked really well themed as well. Yeah, I was going to say, in terms of the shooting, it's always tricky, but I don't think that's necessarily always up to the creator. I don't think Planet Coaster is lends itself very well to actually play these things. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, in terms of the theming, what I particularly liked is a lot of this is um, just reusing the existing set from my BFG Dark Ride. That's the same kind of, well, very similar layout, but completely transformed. Uh, with the the new theming brilliant around this corner here there's brilliant use of the 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 tilt and the yaw of the the, the car and then this i thought was really clever because it's always a bit of an awkward moment when uh, a car has to transition like down a level or up a level um, and i was wondering how she was going to mm -hmm. do it but having the targets pop out of the side to distract you from the point that you're essentially just ah. just going down like an empty bit of show building um i thought that was a really clever mm -hmm. way of doing that yeah, I agree. Uh, I really love the the theme. Uh, it's fun. Mm. Um, it immersed you and mm -hmm. it distracted you uh, at the right spots. And yeah, yep. good stuff. Brilliant work. Enjoyed that a lot. And just, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the theming is just so on point throughout this whole ride. And great use of custom media as well. Moving on. We've got yet another seating area. A shame that they don't really use it in game, oh, I but know. the opportunity it's nice that there is enough space. <laughs> yes, we can imagine if the stupid guests actually use them. Yes. This would be a lovely little seating area for people eating. Um, and this is the lighthouse, so this is all part of the swan. So nice way of kind of extending the swan out. Um, right. There was a big wheel in this plot before. But uh, nice, ah. nice use of that space. I see. Here we go. Historic site. Swan. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, a great way of uh, uh, paying tribute to to our listed building. Okay, we've got a coaster. I like this uh, floor. I'm guessing that's TMTK. Yes, four meter dirt floor. But uh, it works really well as um, path cover. Good texture. Mm. Yeah. Up we go. Don't fall off, Fua. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit scary. <laughs> oh, nice. I always love a bridge in a queue. Mm -hmm. Straight over the station. Okay, here we are in the station. What have we got here? This is where I pretend to know things about coasters, which I do not. It's uh, launched. launched. <laughs> Vector. Okay, and this is called Wave Runner. Excited for this? Let's hop on. I thought that was really great fun. Um, I thought that the the control of the speed was really impressive because it mm -hmm. reached some quite high speeds. Let's just check. Yeah, 70 miles an hour, 69 miles an hour. But yeah, it, it, despite that, it, it still took the corner smoothly. It didn't feel like you were like whipped around too much, but just felt like fast and fun. A lot of excitement in this one, like nice airtime moments, I think, mm -hmm. and maybe uh, there was a corner where you could have used a bit of more banking, but... Yes, I think <laughs> uh, this one here. Yes. Um, but, um, 
yeah, but yeah. Apart from that, really nice layout. Mm -hmm. Nice and long coaster. Yeah, you utilize the uh, the old service road very nicely. Good uh, interaction at the start with the uh, the using sound and the water effects. Oh lordy, Fua. <laughs> It's time, it's time again. <laughs> go karts. I think that's that's two in a row now. Shooting ride and go karts in the same park. But um, I did okay. I won the last one, didn't I? Yes. Okay, so yes. so fingers crossed. Time for me to win another go karts. Let's go. I can do this. I can do this. I believe in myself. No spin outs so far. Maintaining the lead, but I'm loving this track already. Nice layout. Yeah. Oh, I can hear someone coming up behind me. Yeah, I love this bridge. Really nicely clad over the in-game track. Mm -hmm. And interaction with this lighthouse here. And across the line. I like that bridge. It is really nice. That would have taken a lot of work to get that right. But it works perfectly. And then obviously going underneath as well. Yeah, lovely layout. Lovely theming. Good fun. Nice pop of color in the brown road section. Yeah. Like uh, this area is a bit brown, but I, uh, I mean, with pirates you often have that. <laughs> yes, exactly. But it, uh, with the wood and the stone. It makes the lighthouse more of a statement piece, doesn't it? Yes. I had a lot of fun there, but we're going to head across the bridge. Got another example of um, coaster interaction going under the bridge. It seems to be very common with the uh, parks during this contest, which I love. Let's head up here to our insanity. Oh, actually, this is really clever. Mm -hmm. This is the old wooden motif that was on the park entrance originally that's now being used as a fence. Hmm. That's smart. Cost efficient. It is, yeah. Reuse, recycle. The point was to uh, build on what's already there and what you can use. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for this other coaster, which I'm going to assume is here. Yeah. Pop the fence out of my way. Wind hauler. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. Let's do it. Those were some big drops. <laughs> yeah, they were. But that, uh, yeah, it was short and sweet, but very uh, high thrills. Enjoyed that. Yes. That loop was fantastic. And I do, when we're flying over here, I do now have a memory of Tay saying that um, this was supported, and then I think um, something happened, and then Planko removed the supports before, and she didn't notice. Oh. Um, so I think that's what happened there. But. Uh, uh, that's too bad. Yeah. But it's, we can imagine them. Exactly. And I think she said that she's going to continue work on the park anyway um, to get things okay. pretty finished. So I look forward to that. But yeah, great elements here with the, the first huge drop, that loop under the bridge, and then flying round, dropping down into the hole. Brilliant fun. It's a nice uh, in the middle of the park, nice spot to yeah. have some some benches. It's just a... And tables. Yet another example of one is just a nice little place just to chill out, escape from the rides for a bit, get some food and drink, and uh, something that Tay's done really well across the park. Just a quick flyover at night. Nice, uh, simple lighting here and there. That's all you need, just a little glow. The go karts on the bridge. <laughs> the, the thing that we don't know the what it's called. The thing we don't know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Um, Someone please help us in the comment section. <laughs> What's this called again? What's its real technical name? 
and uh, yeah, it's all lit up nicely at night as well. Yeah, overall, I think Tay did a fantastic job of exactly what she said she wanted to do, which was take Radha Valley, not change things too much in terms of layout and structures, just reskin things, which is exactly what I asked for um, with the contest, and she did a really good job of it. And I have to say, um, it's worth mentioning, Tay did this entire build whilst being heavily pregnant. So, I mean, that's uh, <laughs> that's something in itself, I think. Like, yes. So hats Quite off. Quite an accomplishment. It is, really. Um, yeah, I think this is a, a lovely little park, and uh, I enjoyed my time here. I thought that it was very nice to see how you used the already existing uh, theming and that you thought about maybe, I, I just, maybe that's something I came up with myself, but I imagine that you thought how to use what's already there also to, you know, save mm. costs and stuff. Mm -hmm. That would be realistic, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and then still the, the subtle um, pirate theming. Yeah. Um, but it is still so somewhat modern, so it mm. feels like you're still in this age, but it has pirate theming, and I quite like that. Yeah, completely uh, agree. So, well done. Well done indeed. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Fua for joining me today. Make sure you keep tabs on your favourites, ready for the public vote after all submissions have been showcased. Don't forget to like this video, not only to support me, but to show some love to today's creator. Catch you in the next one.